Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fayer the Awakening. My name is Root Negative and let's get cracking. Uh, we've had a bit of a rough start to this one. Uh, hopefully hopefully we're going to go okay though. Uh, who knows though. Uh, we're a little bit behind on the, uh, the old wood here. So we'll just add a gatherer for the moment. Just skip the, the, the vegetables. Just to, to tweak this around because you can see here that we've only got enough wood for another one turn uh, but we've got plenty of uh, food so up here similar problem okay so that's that's okay because it's telling us that there's not enough people right now to make bigos and meat stew but that's okay because that's how i set it up yeah that's fine um, and they made some cooked fish. So inventory You can see here we have now eight cooked fish, which is a, a variation of uh, food So you see here we've got some some raw food and then we've got some cooked food The advantage of it is that these are they weigh less You can see these are all two and that's a three. This is a one. So it's, it's much much lighter which means that the uh, the expeditions when they go can be that much more efficient with their, their weight carrying ah good so okay so he gave us some topaz which is a resource glass stone yes wonderful. build me a building Make any building okay no worries food. No longer are you a mere sca so we've leveled up so we've got some health some intelligence and some strength uh, health stealth from Miroslav and they'll level up each time the experience hits the full okay now the problem with this is that uh, we're gonna run out of wood it's a bit of a bugger really Two and six for shielding. I think the round shield is possibly three and seven. I'm just thinking that maybe we uh, dismantle that. All right, that's given us some more uh, wood and uh, a little bit of amber as well, so we can deconstruct some of these things and. And get some stuff out of them. Otherwise, they just clog up your inventory. So, speaking of which, we'll uh, we'll also have a look in the store to see what we have in the way of crap <laughs> that we can potentially. Well, actually, you can see how that would make him too heavy. I think we went through that the other episode. Right up. Let's keep moving. Uh, so that's now got five five so it's still got a couple of turns and I think that what we'll do is we'll just end this turn here oh Astoria has an encounter an old dwarf passes by your village stopping only for a drink and a chat if you're willing what no Robin blind <laughs> yeah share a drink then kill him at no uh, sure have a drink with him oh okay old mine great most mithril mind now where are we Gee, we're not too far away actually. That's pretty good news. So right now, they've got enough to make another helping of cooked fish, and then I think they're gonna run out of fish. Which would be problematic, obviously. Uh, village overview. So they've still got enough for six turns. Um, what we'll do is we'll just switch that production back over to vegetables. Make sure that they keep running. I think they'll pretty much balance themselves out. Now the crafting, the crafting, the crafting, the crafting. We've got that sorted. So what we'll do is we'll just move uh, Zlatina over to the big horse. So that she can start to make... Uh, that kind of food. How are we looking here? We still need a ton more wood. That's alright. 
Where are these guys at? Um, well, really, they're just not getting anywhere, are they? So what we're going to do is we're just going to head towards this point of interest here. Aha, we can see a small hive. Now, they're enemies, obviously. We'll search the ruins. Oh, skeletons. Who have we got? Nikolai, Jan, and Stepan. Let's, uh... Uh, yeah, I think that we just keep that. You can reshuffle and get these cards changed. Well, actually, I think it's worthwhile. And it worked out. So you can see now I've got two, two high health characters. Um, Dragon picking him up wasn't great because he's got crappy attack and some pretty poor stats, but we've got some strong guys here that can potentially shield or first action him or confuse the opposition, so I think we'll be okay. Let's let's have a crack at it. So first things first, we're going to play Nikolai because he is strong. And we've got another... Ooh, we've got another card to play. Do we potentially shield him? Or do we play get closer? Let's put... Uh, let's put... Yeah, let, let's put uh, Pomier into the play. Now that's obviously going to leave him confused, but that's fine. Because we're going to have two really strong attackers up front. Okay. So he's just first actioned uh, the skeleton, which is not great. So what we're going to need to do is come up with a way of potentially nullifying this guy. We could... we got two cards to play. Let's just see if we can... We'll play Derwin, then we'll put him on first action. Now obviously that won't kill him, but it'll make it so much closer and then Nikolai can hopefully finish him off. I think that the play... Oh, I should have... I know what I should have done. I should have confused him. Whoops. Things you learn, huh? Um, let's, let's play Dragon. And then we'll shield him. Okay, that one will be confused. Do we confuse him? Let's just buff the shield and just make him a little bit harder to get past. Now, the thinking behind doing that is I added plus six or whatever it was. Uh, so it was either plus six or gain a four here. So it was by two, basically, that um, doing that play was better. So if I confuse this rat, we would just take the four out of play for one turn. Not going to quite get there. So they've still got one card remaining. Uh, which means we're going to have to take them on once again. But I'm happy with that draw. We'll play... We'll play Stepan. No, Pomir. Pomir, the beast. He's a beast. And... We will play a shield on him. I have a bit of a plan here. Okay, I'll Let's see if this works. Oh, it does. <laughs> so I've still got three cards to play, no worries. Um, we'll play Stepan. We'll shield him. And then Nikolai is last. So I think I'll... There we go. <laughs> Early access title is early access. <laughs> so we got some leather, we got some quartz, and we also got some steel, which is quite nice. We did pick up some wounds on Nikolai though, which is a bit of a downside, but is what it is. Now, for tonight, what we're going to do is we're just going to... Yep, 
Yeah. Um, let's try this. Now, as I said, there's challenges. So this is a cure sickness. So we've got 2x cure challenge. So instead of using attack and defense as being um, yeah, your attack and, and defense <laughs> stats, we're now going to be using will and health as our direct things. And our tactical will be based upon you know, the magic, medic, herbalism, that's medic, intelligence, and herbalism. So it adds an interesting bent because you can see that now Stepan is ridiculously strong. And, and Yarn and uh, where's Pomir? Pomir, who was a beast, suddenly becomes completely useless because um, of the different uh, stats now in play. So you can see that they're going to play this. We're going to have to overcome both these cards, basically. So we've got the f run of the field now. We can just choose what we want to do. Now there's nothing we can confuse. So these, these cards... Mm, we might be able to support ally. But basically we're just going to be playing get closer on these two because there's nothing else we can do there. Um, oh, this is a tough one. Play Nikolai first. Play Stepan next, and then we're going to support support Stepan. We're going to uh, buff onto his attack. We're going to play play Pomia next because he's the next to ourselves. Yan after him, and then Dragon let last. Even though Dragon's uh, attack is quite high. All right, fingers crossed this works out okay. Oh, it did. It worked out quite well. Okay, so we did wipe out a full card. And we've done some good damage to the next one. So right now, we're hoping Nikolai makes it through. He doesn't. But that's okay, because this isn't a battle. He's not going to take a wound. So you can see here, we picked up some Amber. And that's it. Job done. So we will end the turn here. Astoria's got another encounter. Doors to the storage are ajar and a false small fairy creature covered in your flower stares at you. He has yellow eyes, sharp teeth, and smells of rotten eggs. Blasted rodent, kill it. <laughs> Wait, you've read about this one. Clearly a trickster of sorts. It's a nasty house demon looking to strangle you in your sleep. Though you are not sure why it would be in the granary still. Just leave it be, it can't eat that much. Looks for, but seeing as you do, it needs a few more bites before leaving, to you, you find a couple of your people feeling blessed the next morning. You now think this must be a Skishak, a friendly house demon. So we got eight grain. And, and plus one gathering on Zlatina and Vladimir. That's excellent. Oh, and the ex expedition has an encounter as well. Figure of a beautiful woman adorned in flowers and leaves appears before you as a daydream. Yada yada yada. Uh, I feel with... Are you okay? I am but a lost god, fallen stripped of my power to give life robbed of my people. Zivia was my name. Huh. You're a goddess, you say. Let us speak um, our wounds. Why? Uh, okay. This, uh, that doesn't sound good. So basically, she's offering to heal us. Uh, but we, she may curse us at the same time. Uh, we'd rather not. <laughs> and we got some XP. Alright, so we got more food. XP is nearly there. Alright, so this, this has got four turns remaining until it's out. So you can see we've got some exotic fruit. We've got some string over there. That's quite good. So let's have a look here. And see what's happening. So Vladimir and Zlatina have both picked up extra gathering. So that just means that they gather quicker. Uh, production crafting. Here we go. So this this no longer has enough fish. You can see here by that. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to cancel that off. So the big os is being made. The meat stew, I don't. I think I think we'll stick with the big os actually. So I feel like that is, yeah, where the party's at. They're gathering. Yeah, I think we're good there. So cooked. No, I don't want that one. Okay. How close are we? We've got 14. We need tons more. Tons more. Now, we, the next question is, what do we do with these guys? I think that we bring them... Aha! Spider's Nest. Let's try another sickness um, challenge where we're attempting to do pretty much the same thing. Um, hmm. This, this is a tough one. I think I'm going to keep it. Hopefully, hopefully. Nah, no, damn it. Why can I not? Bugger it. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to confuse him. Okay. So these two are these two are reduced to get closer. They're just going to have to jump into the the battle. I think what I'll do is I'll take the confuse. Take him out for the first one. Then what we're going to do is we'll play Nikolai Derwin. Pomir. We're not even going to get close with this lot. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's going to be hilarious. As you can see, that they're, they're not even going to do enough damage to completely wipe this first card out. That's it. Incredible. Anyway, we'll do our best. Oh, so close. Anyway. So now we have to, to take some hits. Hopefully it's okay. Oh, one left. Yeah, we got him. Woo! <laughs> oh, we'll be okay. Nikolai somehow gutted it. He's just uh, he's just gut checked himself and uh, got through. So he's won. Uh, we picked up some spider silk. We'll take the look and continue. So we're gonna level up in the next turn. Uh, so they finished up some more bigos, which is good. Now, manage supplies. What I don't want them doing is eating the raw stuff right now. I want them to eat cooked food. Okay, that's doing its thing. Cooked meals. Yeah, no, that's fine. How are we doing with gathering? Yeah, we, we're getting there. Alright, so let's see how we went. So, tactics, health, will, intelligence, dexterity. Wonderful. Speech. Oh, Vladimir got plus two gathering. That is outstanding. So, you can see that he's going to do 60 now. 60 per turn. So, it's... The way that the... the if this all works out is it's the first slot by 10 the second slot by 5 I reckon so you can see that Janina is giving us a plus 30 here because she's a 3 times 10 and then when we add Zlatina who's a 1 gives us plus 5 that's how the the production side of things works so that's that's really good that um, we've now got Vladimir being such a gun gatherer Potentially what we'll do is we'll throw him into the, the expedition, maybe, and get him going out so that we can pick things up. Uh, inventory. So we've got 11, 11 wood. Okay. All right. So where's this? We've got two turns remaining, which is okay. Come to there. End the turn. 
And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we'll leave it for today. So thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Fear the Awakening.